Hey guys, so in this vlog we are going to go shopping for the Taylor Swift Eras concert. Yes, I am going. This is my first Taylor Swift concert ever and I've been a fan since the debut. So it's been a long time coming. If there's ever a concert I ever wanted to go to, it was hers. I've just never had the chance and this year is the year and I feel like it's literally perfect because she's going singing all her past albums plus her new albums that we have not seen live yet and I'm just beyond excited so I figured this would be a really fun vlog give you some tips if you are also going to the Eras tour on you know like maybe what to wear or just giving you my ideas and my thoughts on some pieces of clothing that I think would be so cool so amazing fun perfect for the Taylor Swift concert um, basically anything rhinestones fringe sequins is literally perfect for Taylor's concert because that's a lot of what she wears. Her tour just kicked off and I must say the outfits are chef's kiss. They are absolutely stunning and gorgeous and I'm just I'm just so excited. So I'm going to the Tampa show on the 15th. I kind of want to vlog the concert. Not the complete concert, but you know, just like the experience and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this vlog. It's just going to be, you know, shopping around. I did order some things online as well that just came in today, so I may include that in this video as well. No, I still don't know what I'm wearing and the concert is literally two weeks away. So I did find the perfect boots though, so I'm so excited for those, but let's get started. Hey, this really isn't for the Taylor Swift thing, but look at these cute swimsuits from Victoria's Secret. They're so cute! You could definitely wear that as a top for the Taylor Swift concert. Okay. And they got little skirts. Look at that. That is so cute. Okay, ignore my regular underwear. But these are the like the blue sequin, kind of like glittery ones. This is a small. That's how much booty they would show. I don't like that it sits right under my belly fat. Um, but that could also be, you know, so if you're like really bloated, yeah, <laughs> um, not too bad though. The bottoms definitely run big, for sure, because this is a small and usually I'm a medium or large in bottoms. Super stretchy. Alright, these are the mediums, they fit really, really good. They do come up higher, which is more flattering. So I'd probably go with the mediums, but both small and medium fit. Okay, here is the entire outfit. It's a medium top. Fits really nicely. And this is the skirt. In medium. I think it's really cute. Alright guys, I'm in buckle with these boots. They're so cute. And then sparkly heels on these. These are gorgeous. I don't know if I'd be able to walk in them, but I want them just because the heels are rhinestone. And then these are my favorite. They're fringe. I'm contemplating on getting these. These are beautiful. I wanted brown though. Because I do have a white pair that looks like this. But I love fringe. These brown boots are beautiful. Let's see what kind of clothes they have. This top right here is really pretty. It has really nice flowy sleeves and it's nude color. Kind of fits in with her fearless air. Very cute. I also feel something like this. That corset over a white shirt would be really cute. Pair it with some boots and a skirt or the right shorts. That would be such a cute outfit. 
All right, you guys, the lady here is so, so nice. They're a little pushy and buckle, and they are expensive, but they have some beautiful clothes, especially for concerts and festivals and stuff like that. So I want to show you some items that I personally picked out. I think we be perfect for the Taylor Swift concert. Okay, so this is giving reputation there. And look at the rhinestones. So beautiful. This I thought would just be really, really fun. I don't know, I feel like Taylor would might wear this. I just thought it was cute. And then we have this sparkly top. Anything with sequins, glitter, Taylor Swift, especially in shorts form. And then I thought, I've seen Taylor wear something like this in her lover era. It has a little bit of like, almost like rainbow stitching, like gold. It gives it kind of like that rainbow effect. It's really light, which is really nice for a concert. And you can wear a really cute undershirt or bralette with it. This would be perfect for lover air. It's a nice mauvey pink on camera. It looks a little darker, but it's actually a really pretty pink. And then this I did not pick out. This was in here already, but this is perfect for a Taylor Swift concert as well. If you like colored shirts with paired with these necklaces, it's really, really cute. And a lot of these shirts are by Willow and Root, one of my favorite brands. So I'm going to try some on. Okay, so here is that pink mauve shirt. The music is so loud. I hope I don't get copyrighted. But look how pretty it is. And then with the right bralette, it'd be really pretty with like a sequin white bralette or something like that. Very, very cute. You could pair it with some jeans or some cutoff shorts with some brown boots. I think it'd be absolutely precious for the Taylor Swift concert. All right, you guys, I love this one. This is so pretty. So again, it's long sleeve. It's a little heavier, um, but very pretty sequins. And my favorite part, the back has a little bow, like a little ribbon bow. So, so cute. Depending on where your concert is at, um, I feel like for Florida, where I'm at, this would be a little heavy, a little hot, so I probably wouldn't actually buy it to wear it to the Taylor Swift concert, but it's beautiful. I'm obsessed. Okay, this one's probably my favorite so far. Love the rhinestones. Look how cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, so what you just seen is my vlog from the mall, and I did not get anything except the black top with the rhinestone bottoms, but I bought that just because I wanted it um, not to wear to the Taylor Swift concert. I do have some pieces at home as well that I would like to show you guys as options just because... Um, if you do kind of have like sequin pieces or like rainbow pieces, shirts that have rhinestones on them, you could definitely pull from your own closet. You don't have to go out and spend a ton of money just for the concert. Huge, huge tip. Please look at the return policy before you buy something because if you don't like it or you don't end up wearing it and you change your mind, you could definitely return it and get your money back. So that's kind of something that I've been telling myself. Like, okay, if I don't wear this, like when I order stuff online, okay, if I don't wear this, I can return it and get my money back, which is great. Um, so definitely look at the return policy, even in store. Because I know I've seen so many people buying like so many different outfits. Just make sure you can return stuff because the stuff that you don't wear, you, you, it'd be nice to get your money back. The mall, we went back the next day and I literally found the perfect like midnight slash reputation era outfit. And I forgot to show you guys. I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, I did not buy it because it was $150 but it was like full of rhinestones and it really reminded me of this tour outfit that she is singing during her vigilant shit but I think that 
no, vigilante shit. That's, I have trouble saying that word. That's kind of what this outfit looked like and reminded me of. It's from InStyle in the mall. If you have it in style, oh my god, go there and look at what they have. It is pricey, but really have the perfect, like, bejeweled type midnight outfits slash reputation outfits. Um, so definitely check them out as well. I really hope I can find it. If not, I'm going to go back and include it in a separate vlog that's going to be coming up soon. Okay, so for these pieces, these just came in. I ordered two different colors, one for the lover area era and one for the red era. Okay, so this is the first dress. This is giving me lover era. This is one of the dresses from Amazing Lace and they are sold out right now but I think they're going to restock but this is like the more purpley color and then I also got it in red. I saw this red dress and I was like oh that would be so beautiful for the red era um, so I got the same dress in two different colors so that is kind of like what's going on here. I, I think they're absolutely beautiful. Okay this is the dress in red. I love it with the silver boots. It's definitely red era. It's very pretty. It reminds me a little bit of like a flapper dress, but in the best way. <laughs> These are super short, just so y'all know, but with stockings and stuff, and you can even wear like little booty shorts underneath them. I think it would be fine. Perfect for concerts. Okay, I put this dress back on just with purple boots so you guys can see, you know, compare. But I think this one looks really pretty with the purple boots as well. It's kind of giving lavender haze. Really cute. Tell me if you like the purple with the silver boots better. I 100% know that I want to wear cowboy boots now. My first my first ever outfit idea, I was going to go with a Taylor Swift debut. I was going to get a really pretty tan beach type dress. It was really flowy, beautiful, and I wanted to pair it with the, these boots that were at Boot Barn. They were the brown cowboy boots with the sunflowers on it, and I just thought that would be so, so cute for a debut look. Um, you could do tan or white dress, and then I was like, you know what? This is probably my only Taylor Swift concert I'll ever go to. I know so many people are going to go full out, like sequin decked out. I was like, I want to do that too. thought I was really going to dress for the lover era because that's like my color palette. I love them. Colors like pastel purples, pinks, blues. I love it. And some of my favorite outfits she has worn was from the lover era. era. But then I just started pulling stuff from my closet. And I noticed I had a lot of dark black sequin stuff and all of the stuff that I started to look at online that I like truly truly loved even the one in the in style store they were all giving reputation slash midnights era and I was like you know what I think I'm more of a reputation type girl like I think because I love that album it's definitely one of my top albums so I'm leaning more towards dressing for the reputation slash midnights era okay so here is more of like my reputation outfit oh my gosh i almost fell over okay so we got a black multicolored like sequin skirt and i got it for like ten dollars um not too long ago the rhinestone belt is from buckle and then a black crop top just ignore this thingy i have to like tuck it in somewhere and then the rhinestone boots but I also feel like the purple boots would be really cute with this because the skirt does have like a lot of purple sequins in it. But this one's really comfortable and like if I jump, the skirt doesn't ride up, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really simple outfit. It's giving rep era, midnight's era, kind of, you know, like combined a little bit. I really like this one and this stuff is already in my closet minus the boots and the belt. The belt was like 25 bucks. Boots were the most expensive thing, but yeah, those are the three outfits that I have right now. Um, I do have more though, so let me show you. Okay, so I'm not going to put it on, but this dress I got last year, no, a couple of years ago, and it's really beautiful. It's like a nude colored dress, and it has all these like rainbow sequins on it. It's really beautiful. I'll put a picture of me wearing it 
right here. Um, so this is what it would look like with the rhinestone boots, which is really cute. And it also go with the purple boots as well. This is definitely like my lover era dress or even fearless. This is actually really getting fearless as well because she wore a lot of like gold nude type dresses in that era. It's comfortable, but there are sequins right here that will kind of like rub you raw a little bit. So, so that's the only thing with this dress, but I do really like it. It's really cute. And then I bought another red dress. Um, not for the Taylor Swift concert, but then I put it on and I was like, oh my god, this would be so pretty with like a rhinestone belt with the black boots and put the rhinestone, um, put the rhinestones around the boots and I was like, that would be so beautiful. Hey guys, here is that red dress. Look how pretty this dress is and I love the way it twirls. This was literally $38 at Boot Barn and then with these rhinestone boots, it looks so pretty. And then I also love the back, has a little tie. Super cute dress. So let me show you what I would, how I would dress this up if I do decide to wear this, because this is a contender. Bought these rhinestones right here off of Amazon, as you can see, and you can make like belts and stuff with it. I actually bought them from Mickey Ears, but what I would do is wrap the rhinestones around right here kind of dress it up a little bit so like that I think it just adds a little something extra to it if I wore the black boots right here they're kind of like a gray black they got like some black sequins on them what I would do is also make boot bracelets they're called boot bracelets um, and I would just make it out of the same rhinestone that I made the belt out of so it would match so essentially this is what that would look like the black boots with the rhinestone boot bracelets with this dress. I think that would be so cute. Okay, you guys, so I quickly put it together. It's not the right way, but I put it together with some rubber bands. But this is what I mean. Isn't it so cute? The rhinestones. And then I did do the rhinestones on the boots as well to match. Very, very cute. I think this is such a good outfit. It's so simple yet so beautiful. But back to the cowboy boots. Didn't get the brown boots, but I did get black boots because they were on clearance, as well as lavender boots because I've been wanting them for a while and they were on clearance as well. So I got them for a really good price. Went to Altered State the other day and you guys. Oh my god, I found the perfect Taylor Swift era rhinestone cowboy boots, full rhinestone cowboy boots, and they're really comfortable, true to size, so if you do order them, they are true to size, order just your normal size, they're expensive. They were $250, I feel like they're kind of overpriced, but here's the thing, you can return them, no policy on return, you can wear them. And if they, if you don't like them, you can return them. There's no like 30 day window. There's nothing. As long as you have the receipt, even if you have worn them, as long as you didn't ruin them, you can return them. So if you want to just like quickly buy them for the concert and then return them, you could totally do that. Don't sit, don't tell them I said that. Um, but I definitely asked before I bought them cause they were, they're expensive you guys, but they are gorgeous. And I feel like they'll pretty much go with any outfit. So if you're looking for a rhinestone boot, um, Altered State has them. But I'm sure other people have them for cheaper, hopefully, because they are expensive. They're really expensive. I have seen pink rhinestone boots as well um, for $150, which is <laughs> a lot better priced. But the Altered State ones, they shift in so many different colors. There's a lot of blue in there, a lot of silver. They're kind of like the AB rhinestone crystals. They're gorgeous. I will say they do kind of stink. Like you could like smell the adhesive, but they're still gorgeous. Yeah, that's that's the boots I recommend, even though I know they're pricey, but the return policy on them is 
amazing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of Taylor Swift era outfit idea inspo type vlog where I've been shopping. There's so many great places to shop for the eras tour. If you go, please let me know what show you're going to so we can like fangirl together. <laughs> and also you can follow me on TikTok. I'm going to be doing a lot of Taylor Swift era TikToks. I'm going to try. I get kind of shy, but I am going to try and do them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!